This is 58-year-old Esther Lungu, a widow of Kamanga Township, struggling to make ends meet. She has four grandchildren to look after without any source of income and decent shelter. And 28-year-old Media Lungu of the same township was abandoned by her husband, leaving her with five children to look after. The houses they live in are not secure and the walls are at the verge of collapsing. But today, Habitat for Humanity Zambia has come to their rescue by building them houses through the Bankers Butte project. <laughs> And Habitat for Humanity Zambia National Director Kanyata Mkelewai has appealed to other banks and well wishers to help uplift the living standards of vulnerable families. And I would like to appeal to uh, banks that are not participating today uh, to join us in next year's bankers build. Because yes, today we are doing it for two people, but it's a journey. So it's a step at a time. For this family, as you can see the type of house in which they live, for this family, we are making a huge difference and we want to do it one by one. And local government and housing minister, Dr. John Piri, who officiated at the launch of the construction of the two houses, commended Habitat for Humanity Zambia for their tireless efforts in helping the underprivileged in society. It is for this reason that the government of the Republic of Zambia, under the able leadership of His Excellency the President Edgar Rungu, is committed to providing policy and legislative frameworks that will promote sustainable human settlements and urban development. It gives me great pride to see that what you planned for in the strategy plan is coming to fruition. I would like to thank the bankers build group for its role in providing financial support to Habitat for Humanity to build houses and reduce the housing deficit. The bankers did not only end at contributing money but also participated in the actual construction of the two houses. Zambia is currently faced with the housing deficit of 1.5 million houses. Clive Jubilega reporting for Zanis in Lusaka.